In this feature video series, I would like to deal a little bit on the feature of protective packaging and how it is handled within RTO SCAD. As a familiar product example, I am going to choose a 3D file of an iPod. Okay. So, uh, I would first rotate it in the direction that I would need. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is create foam around the iPod and then create a separate box which will hold both the foam and the product. The first step is use a tool called as a bounding box tool. Now the bounding box tool is meant to extend the boundary of the product and this will give the dimension of the foam. So it is extended in one direction, let me reset that, say extend on both the direction, okay. Now I will turn the other face, give a similar value. Now to observe what this bounding box tool has done, just select the camera tool. Okay, so you will see that I have created a bounding box which is few mm apart from the boundary of the actual product. Once this is done, I am going to use an interesting tool called as a cross section tool. Using this cross section tool, what I would do is first select the type of foam. Okay, in this case, let me use a blue ethylene half foam of half an inch. Then I select the edge from where the foam has to start. So I click the other edge, the foam is actually formed. So now it has also created a 2D shape of how the foam has to be cut on the table. So I quickly go here and by using the same camera tool, you would actually know that uh, the product which is the iPod is there's a foam which is cut around the product. Okay. Now I also want to create a backing foam. Yeah. So let me move it slightly by a distance of let's say one by sixteen of an inch upside. Okay. So now what I do is as you can see here, I have moved it up by about 1 by 16th of an inch. I go to the 2D design of the foam. I use the selection tool and select the original profile. I copy this. I create a new design. Select a particular type of foam. I'm going to use the orange foam for showing you the color difference and then I paste. Now this foam will have to sit within the top foam. So I'm going to scale it a little bit. Yeah. 0.99 mm, uh, rather scale of 0.99. And I use the option of add to 3D. So now you can see that the foam profile has come in. But as you can observe here, it is too thick. So I can put the properties onto the board information and specify what is the thickness that I want. So now we have got the foam. Uh, let's just uh, rotate this around the direction that we want. Okay. And select the tool and do a rotation. 90 degrees. Yeah, so it matches. Now I'm going to use another interesting tool 
which is called move point to point tool yeah I select that tool select the edge and then correspondingly on the foam the lower edge has to match with the lower edge of the foam okay so as you can see now we've got the foam a foam box surrounding the foam and we've got a backing foam yeah now as a next stage to this I'm going to quickly create a tertiary box to house this entire setup so I use run a standard tool now in this tool I select which is going to be the length dimension and which is going to be the width dimension quickly it goes to the standard catalog asks you to choose a design okay let me choose this design say okay select the type of board in this case I'm going to go ahead with selecting a C flute automatically it calculates the dimensions based on uh, what we did earlier so conflicts which I'm going to ignore in this case I'm going to say okay so what you've got is uh, the box yeah and uh, just going to fold this up 90 degrees fold this up by 90 degrees fold this up by 90 degrees and then So, so with the help of certain features and tools in RTOSCAD, you could build the protective packaging in, in very few minutes and at the end of it, you could quickly take a, a report, yeah, a report of what are the additional components that are involved so quickly you would get a report like this saying what are the components as you could see here the 3D representation of the box as well as comes. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video.